Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, many users um, have maybe heard um, over the last years new um, system requirements and new um, information about things that they just didn't know existed. One is TPM, the Trusted Platform Module. And the other one is Secure Boot, both of which to be enabled actually requires you to go into the low level of your system, the UEFI firmware, because that's where all of that is turned on or off. And this is something unknown by a lot of people. And one of the things that happened recently is that there are a certain amount of users that wanted to play games um, like Call of Duty, for example. And they didn't understand why it just didn't want to work. And often it's because simply because the secure boot and TPM are turned off. And the only thing that would be needed is to turn them on. Now, even though Steam is not showing you how to do it, one of the new features of the latest Steam app will be to tell you and look at your system and say, hey, you know, Secure Boot and TPM are off, which means that some games might not be working. So that is an advancement because a lot of people didn't really know about any of that. Um, so that is something to, um, to look at. Um, and I think the information is cool. The next step, of course, is how do I turn that on? And this is where it's another step, another type of video on actually figuring out maybe um, how to um, to make one for the next uh, day or two that would um, kind of be of a general idea if you want to know where to turn on or off these uh, features. So this is going to be, uh, I think, interesting to see. Uh, one thing for sure, there's already information when you go to your Windows Security app there's already some information in the Windows Security app, which, by the way, since the last update, takes a enormous amount of time to um, show the menu. So uh, if you look at um, the device security, uh, one of the things that it uh, will tell you is uh, if you go to security processor, it's going to tell you if you have an, a TPM chip and what specifications it has and so on. So this is uh, something you can also check from uh, the uh, Windows security app uh, in device security and um, security processor details. As for the secure boot, um, of course, you um, if you're on Windows 11, normally secure boot DPM are turned on, um, but still. You know, there could be cases where people are um, running unsupported or um, for some reason have um, Windows running without that. Uh, and last but not least, Steam did say that uh, starting January 1st, 2026, there will be no more updates to the 32-bit Windows 10 app. Um, but that shouldn't impact a lot of people. Apparently, there's a very, very, very small number of people using that 32-bit app now as most of everything works on 64 bits. And Windows 11, of course, is when it's a 64-bit only operating system, so it's not a problem there. It's really just for Windows 10 users that would still be on 32-bit versions, which would mean that you have a pretty old PC anyway. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.